Hi, this is Lovejeet Arora. Welcome in the Tag Queen channel. So today we are going to start our program. This is the part two. So in the previous video, I have discussed with you the string handling introduction and few functions we have already discussed. Now, on the basis of those questions, on the basis of those questions, we are going to do some programs. Okay, so our first program is here. Write a program to input string and display the total number of vowels present in it. Okay, so this is our program. We have to check the total number of vowels. Let's say that this is my input here. Application is given. So now application and sample output that is five. So that means how many vowels are there? One. Okay, then two, three, four, five. So total five vowels are there. For that, we have to do the code in the Java, right? We have to find the total number of vowels present in the string, which will be input by the user. So now, moving back to the blue J. So here you can see the code. Okay, so see, this is my program here. This is my program. Okay, so let me change the position of my picture because maybe you will be unable to see the code okay so this is my question i hope that now it is perfectly visible to you so guys i'm using there i'm just importing there the util package so class uh, is the name this is the name of my class my main method the scanner okay scanner object i'm using and i have given a message to the user to enter a string and i'm using the scanner class so with the help of scanner class object i have taken a string i have taken as a input a string from the user okay so this is my string class and this is the object of my class let's say that user has entered anything anything means any name okay because the question is that we have to find how many uh, vowels are there in the string right so now what i'm going to do i'm just converting the whole string into the lower case why i did that for example user enter their apple a double p okay so user has entered that so now what i'm going to do user can enter the capital letter also the small also and if i say that a e i o u okay so in the capital form this is also vowel if i'm going to write for the small form a e i o u so that is also vowel right so for that what we have to do we just have to check for both the possibilities okay user can enter anything user can enter small also upper also okay so we have to check for both the possibilities so that's why what i did instead of instead of using uh, conditions there instead of putting this also in the condition what i did i have just converted the full string into the lower case only okay so that it will be easy for us to do the code so now in the next line guys whenever you are finding any uh, anything in the question that is written the total number how many numbers for that what we have to do we have to take a counter variable that is integer v is equals to zero i have taken why this zero because we have to count that how many vowels are there okay so that's why we have to initialize it with zero okay so now this is done this is also done so these lines i hope that is clear to you so now i'm coming to the main coding so guys here what i did i have just started my string from the zero to the less than the length whatever is the length so guys here is my string that is apple so now i have converted it into the small case okay small case i have converted so if i'm asking that what is the length of that so here 0 1 2 3 4 okay so 0 1 2 3 4 means 0 is this 1 2 3 4 okay so total four elements are there and so that's why the length will be what five okay zero to four element are there so the total length is five guys this is like a bus in a bus how many seats are there five are there but the seat numbers are that okay these are just the index position zero one two three four zero to four elements are there total is five i hope this thing is clear to you okay so here s dot length that value will be five only so we are checking that is zero less than the length yeah 
condition is true. So that means now we are going to enter inside this for loop. And here, what we are going to do, we are just checking. We are just checking for what? We are checking for a e i o u. We are checking for the vowels there. Okay. So this we are using there. Uh, let's say that this is what s s is my string. This one dot care at. What is on the uh, at? Ith number location there is zero. Zero means there is what small a. Is that equals to equals to a small a? Yeah. In the first match we found true answer. Okay. So we are using here this logical or. So that means anyone can be true because anyone can be true means the vowels anyone can be there present in the uh, string. Right. Either it can be a e i o u any anything can be there. Okay. So if if anything is matched among all these five uh, vowels, so that means we will enter inside this if condition. So if we will enter inside that if condition, so here I'm using V plus plus. So V was zero. So now it is one. So that means we found our first vowel. Okay. So I will be plus plus. So I was I was zero. So now it is what it is one. So one is less than length. Length was what five. Okay, condition is two. So that means I have entered inside this for loop, and here I'm checking that s dot k h i. What is inside i? There is p. Is that equal to equal to a? No. Then p. E, then i o u. Okay, no matches there. So that means we are not going to enter inside this if condition, right? Because that is not the vowel there. P is a consonant there. So i will be plus plus. So before that i was one. Now this time it is two. So two is less than condition is again true. So again we are checking for the truth number index. That is what p. So we have already checked for the p. So see, it will check for the all the five possibilities of vowel a e i o u. So match will be not there. So that means we are not going to enter inside this if condition and simply we are just doing i plus plus. So i was two. So this time it is three. So three is less than the length. The condition is true. So that means condition true. We are again coming inside this and we are checking now for this l. Okay, so we are checking for this L S dot care at ith number location. That means on the third number location, what exactly there? There is L, small L. Is that equals to equals to any vowel A, E, I, O, U? No. So that means again, we are not going to enter inside this if condition. Then I will be plus plus. So I's value was three. This time it is four. Four is less than condition true. So here we are checking that ith number location. That means fourth number location is there any element that is equals to equals to a no that is not equals to equals to a because that is what that is small a okay so now we are using here this logical or so here we are again checking that as dot care at a i number location i means the fourth number location is that equals to equals to i exactly that is equals to equals to i so that means what will happen we are coming inside this f condition and v was one so now v is increased by one okay so that means it is two so i plus plus the condition will be wrong and now we will simply come out from this for loop and coming out from the for loop here we are just printing that these total the total number of vowels are these v okay so we will we will be printed there so let me compile that and let me compile that and let me show you the output here. So this is our question. That is question number one. So let me show you the result here. See guys, if I'm going to enter there A double P L E apple. So we found here two. Uh, let me compile it once more. Okay. So here A double P L okay. I C A T I O N. So this I have given. So see guys, this is five vowels are there inside that. So this was uh, A, okay, one, two, then uh, three, four, and five. Okay, five vowels are there. So that matched with that. Okay, so this we have done. See guys, let me show you the code again. So here what I did. See, first of all, I have taken input from the user. That particular input I have converted into the lower case. Here you can convert into the upper case also. It's as per on you. If you're just converting it into the upper case, for that, what do you have to do? You just have to put here capital A instead of the small. Um,
comment so what will happen that time see guys what will happen that time it is showing me error uh, okay so it will not show me error here what i have to do it here i have to use this double s so what will happen that time so we have to check for the both both means for capital also and for small also we have to check for both okay for capital vowels also and the small also so that will be so much complicated complicated means we have to write uh, more lines okay instead of that what we can do instead of that what we can do we can just convert either into the lower case or in the upper case okay that we can do so i hope guys you people understood this program so in the next video we will do something else some other programs related to the string handling so bye bye